Nearly six months ago, I did a poll asking people if they had purchased skins from Valorant, and out of 23,000 votes, 29% of them said no. And while the overwhelming majority said that they had purchased skins in any capacity, whether it be single skins or entire collections, I wanted to dedicate today's video to the people who answered no. How can you get skins easier on Valorant? Hello, I'm Your Not Justin, and in today's video, I want to answer that very question of how you can get skins easier on Valorant. I get tons of comments all the time begging me for skins and just tons of comments in general of people saying that they don't have skins at all. Disclaimer, none of this stuff is foolproof and all of this stuff will require you to do something. You can't just make skins appear into your game. And another disclaimer is, is that if I could buy all of you viewers out there skins, I would, but I simply can't. It's not the kind of world that we live in. I've compiled five ways that you can easily get money so you can buy skins or at least some skins. I tried to have this be as tailored as possible to kids and people without jobs, or maybe somebody who just needs extra money, which is fine if any of those situations are your situation. And the inspiration for this video came from a viewer of mine, somebody who's actually been in several videos before named Diet Coke. They inspired this video because they get all of their skins by doing our first thing that I'm going to teach you about, which is surveys. Another huge disclaimer, none of this is sponsored in the video. Absolutely none of this. So the first thing out of the five things that we're gonna be learning about today that you can do to get skins if you do not have any money is surveys. I've personally never done this, but I do know of people who have done it. And Diet Coke is actually somebody who does this and has spent $500 on skins all from doing surveys. Diet Coke unfortunately couldn't make it to today's video because of our schedules not being compatible, but they left me a Google Doc to explain surveys to you. When asked about the methods of surveys, Diet Coke says, I use Survey Junkie and Swagbucks. Both are really great sites. Survey Junkie emails me gift cards almost instantly, but Swagbucks, you need to wait a few days. How does Diet Coke do this? For Survey Junkie, it's mainly filling out your honest opinion in just surveys. They do sometimes have special promotions where you do a certain amount of surveys per day and they'll add a bonus $5. On Swagbucks, you can complete offers, play games, and mainly do surveys to earn swag points. On both sites, 100 points is equal to $1. Now the burning question that I'm sure a lot of you may have, because there is always a catch with these kinds of things, is it time consuming? The short answer is yes. For sites that only require you to input your opinion on things, it will take one or two hours to get 10 bucks. That can be knocked out easily when you are riding on a bus or just chilling out on the toilet with nothing to do. However, if you really want to put in the grind, you'll get a lot in no time. Which side is better? For surveys only, Survey Junkie is better in my opinion. It pays out very fast and has bonuses for surveys. However, if you'd like to have a variety of ways to earn points, Swagbucks has that. Is it reliable? Yes, I have gotten over $400 combined from Survey Junkies and Swagbucks with no issue. My friends use it too. How can I sign up? Well, you have to input the correct information to sign up. Since putting inconsistent info will get you banned, you will sometimes have to verify your identity via phone number, but sign up is as easy as doing it with your Google account. Is there anything else to note about this? Diet Coke says, yes, although it works for me, it may not work for other regions. Some people can get sick of just answering surveys and may quit. You will get disqualified on a lot of surveys because you might not be in a targeted audience, but at the end, it's very rewarding. And when asked about Diet Coke's collection, Diet Coke told us that, I currently have a collection worth over $500. I know this is not a wise way to spend my money, but I'm supporting the devs. I have a skin for every single gun in the game and several Spectre, Phantom, Vandal, and Melee skins. It's quite a lot. And there you go. I'd like to say a special shout out to Diet Coke for being an awesome viewer. They're a very smart kid. And just as a testament to if this stuff is shady or not, it's absolutely not that shady if you just do some research into it. Diet Coke is a viewer and he's a perfect example of somebody who watches my videos, who didn't have skins, who hustled his way to have an entire collection, which is what this entire video is about, is how can people with nothing get at least something? Diet Coke is a great example of grinding. And even if you did half as much or a fourth as much as he did, you would get at least one skin. Moving onward though, this next one will come as no surprise to you, but the next thing that you should be trying to do to get skins easier in Valorant is joining as much giveaways as possible. There's gonna be a lot of disclaimers in this video, but my disclaimer for this one in particular is just join the giveaway. Do not go out of your way to ask people for skins. Do not go into the DMs of anybody doing a giveaway and beg them for skins. Do not get angry or overstep the boundaries that are set between you and whoever may be doing the giveaway has. Be respectful, be polite, enter the giveaway, and nobody owes you anything. At any given time, you could probably look up Valorant giveaway on Twitter, and you'll most likely just have to follow, retweet, and all that sort of good stuff. I do believe that a majority of the giveaways that content creators will do for Valorant are real. And it's really that simple. And all that these giveaways come down to is you look it up on social media, they want your follow. So you can use that sort of leverage that you have with being able to interact with somebody's post and follow them, etc. And you can apply that to every giveaway that's on whatever social media that you're on. And if there's 10 giveaways that month, 
you can be a part of 10 giveaways and that's 10 different opportunities that you have to potentially win skins yes this is not foolproof yes you're going to be competing with thousands of other people but it is something that does happen for real moving onwards to our next way of getting skins easier in valorant this one might be a little bit more complicated depending on who you are but the next way that you can get skins in valorant is by doing something on fiber are you really talented at math are you really good at proofreading? Are you a good editor? Are you a good thumbnail creator? Are you an artist? You have to search within yourself and think, what am I good at? And find a way to monetize it on a website like Fiverr. If you can offer a service that people may need or want on Fiverr, put yourself out there and you will get customers for sure. You're gonna be working for the money that you make, but this is absolutely a foolproof way if you have a good service that you can offer to people. And as an example, if I were a kid and I knew what I know now as an adult, I would go on Fiverr and I would say, all right, I will edit a video for $10 a video. I will make a thumbnail for five or $10 a thumbnail because those are the two things that I know how to do. I would say, I will proofread your essay for $10. It's all about offering services that you can do that people might not want to do that they'll need to have done for them. Monetize the things that you're good at. On to the next one. The next one that we're going to be talking about is not sponsored. Well, I do quite a bit of business with them, this one in particular is an absolute freebie. You can utilize the services of Buff and G Loot. Again, not sponsored. I'm not getting paid to say anything about it in this video, but Buff is a truly solid thing. Diet Coke uses it, and I know of several other people who use it. You simply just download Buff and you let it run in the background. You do challenges for it and you slowly prop it and over time you can get gift cards just by having it running is it a long grind yeah absolutely it is but at the same time as well it's a totally foolproof way if you want to have skins to get the skins you simply just download it make an account let it run in the background and that's it some common questions that people have and common concerns are that the gift cards are always out the reason why the gift cards are always out is because so many people use buff because it works but furthermore they always restock and you just have to be the first person in line to sort of like catch it while it's out there but they do constantly restock because it's constantly bought because it's real. It's not a Bitcoin mining scheme. Buff is designed to run really well on your computer. And if it were mining Bitcoin, you would definitely notice. And while I understand people may have concerns about it, I had the exact same concerns that you did. And I totally asked them all of the same things that you may be concerned about. And I wouldn't promote it if I didn't trust it. And the last way that you could get skins easier on Valorant is by playing in tournaments. This one is by far my favorite because it's tailored towards the gamer. It's tailored towards being the best you that you can be. So what you could do is you could find tournaments to join. You could start a team. You could do it with your friends or whoever, and you could find tournaments to play in and you could get $10 for just winning a tournament. Remember the key thing here is to monetize what you're good at. If you're good at Valorant, you guys could start a team. You could Google search Valorant tournaments and you could all play together and beat other teams for cash prizes. Mind you, you're not going to be playing for like a thousand dollars or anything like that, but it's totally a real thing. You'll probably start off small by playing in five to $10 tournaments, but who knows, maybe by doing this, you'll find out that you have the gift of 10z and you'll be able to start playing in like vct and stuff like that again just google search valorant tournaments and try to figure out the best way to getting into them some of them might have buy-ins some of them might be free join but it's fun competitive healthy stuff that you can do to win a little bit of money that you could put down towards skins I really hope that I was able to help out at least somebody in some kind of way I know that all of this stuff is really grindy and again, I really just wanted to tailor this towards a kid who wants to hustle to make some money. And some little keynotes here, obviously you could ask your family or ask for like a birthday gift, Christmas gift, whatever it is that you celebrate. And maybe if you're old enough, just get a job, get a part-time job. Skins on Valorant are really cool and the hustle to get them exists. So what are you gonna do? As always, I'm Justin and you're not. I love you guys, like the video, subscribe if you're new, click the bell so you never miss a video ever in your lives. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.